Hi, I'm Megan. I'm from Rhythm Snow Sports. I'm just going to talk to you today about the waterproof and breathability ratings on our ski and snowboard jackets in store. Um, I'm just going to start with the pricing. So we have jackets that start from about $180 and they go all the way up to $1,000. Um, this is determined by the waterproofing, the breathability and the warmth factor of the jackets and pants. I'll just explain to you the way that they can waterproof the garments. Uh, the first thing is a lot of the jackets will have what's called a DWR coating on the jacket. So this is a spray or a treatment that can be done on the garments. Um, all of our garments in the shop that are waterproof have this. DWR stands for durable water repellent. So all of the jackets will have this coating on them and this is designed so the water will bead off the fabric so it doesn't seep through. Um, so with the jackets that are sort of anywhere between 180 up to within $400, uh, they will only just have this coating on the outside of the jacket. And then you move up to something which is called a laminate membrane. So this is another feature underneath the face fabric of a jacket. It's like a laminated piece of paper, so this is just underneath the face of the fabric. So these will have the DWR coating on the outside, and then they'll have the laminate on the inside underneath. So. This is designed so that it has tiny little holes in it, enough for no water to seep through, but enough for the water vapour when you're sweating to come through the other way. So the way that they'll test a garment with this in regards to our ratings, because they can range from 3,000 waterproof and breathability right up to 28,000 waterproof and breathability. So the way they test it is they grab some fabric like so and they'll grab a cylinder or a tube with the inner dimensions of about 3 centimetres around and they'll fill this up with water. So say for instance if the jacket is 10,000 millimetre waterproof and breathability until they get to the point of 10,000 millimetres that's when the water will actually seep through the other side of the material and that determines that it's actually 10,000 waterproof and breathable. So the higher the number the better waterproof and breathable that your fabric is. Uh, with the breathability it's normally measured in grams so that's how um, over a square metre of fabric the water vapour can escape through within a 24 hour period on a square metre part of fabric, then that's how they determine the level of breathability. Um, a lot of our jackets will come with different types of insulation. A lot of the time it's synthetic, it doesn't mean it's not warm, it can be very warm. Um, the best type of warm insulation is going to be a down product. A lot of the time you won't get a lot that are really good quality ski and snowboard jackets as they're quite hard to waterproof and make breathable. Um, but if you're skiing in Australia, a lot of the time you won't need something that thick and warm. They're more of a travel piece or if you're skiing overseas where it's slightly drier. So a lot of our jackets will be a lot of the time just a shell. So that means that there is actually no insulation on the inside of the jacket. And this gives you the opportunity to layer up as you need to in regards to the weather as Australia weather conditions um, you can get four seasons in one day so this way you can either layer up if it looks like it's a really yucky day or you can layer right down to not having any insulation. With the women's jackets they're probably more insulated than some of the men's um, because women feel the cold slightly more than the men. They'll always do a heavier lot of insulation through the body and lighter through the arms so it's easier to move. Uh, you'll find with some of the Deera jackets that they often have either a two-way or a four-way stretch fabric um, it is an amazing fabric to wear, it feels nicer, it doesn't make much noise when you wear them. Um, so that's a really nice feature on a slightly dearer jacket. With a really insulated piece that will often be goose down or just down, a lot of the time you won't have anything besides just the outer face of the garment, insulation and then just a plain piece on the inside. So because there's so many sewing lines through the jacket, this is really hard to waterproof, it can take a lot of time. So all the time you won't get a lot that have the laminate membrane on the inside, they'll only have the DWR coating. So this is definitely a better piece for overseas skiing because their snow is a lot drier. But you can definitely ski in this here in Australia, but if it's a really wet day, you potentially will get quite wet by the end of the day unless you're getting something that is incredibly waterproof. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit our website or we have a huge range in store at 8 Sharp Street in Cooma. See you later.